Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Badman Reviews. And since it's Tuesday, this is usually my first impression slash news day. And today we have actually three topics to go over. Three things that I found interesting that I just wanted to talk about. It's not huge news, but you know, I, I found them interesting and I wanted to talk about them. So first off on this list is a very, very small thing that kind of gets my hopes up a little bit, but not really at the same time. I don't want to get my hopes too high. Um, Capcom has recently released a trademark, uh, not a renewal, but a brand new trademark on the Onimusha series. And as most of you know, I am a huge PlayStation 2 fan and a pretty big fan of Onimusha 3, which is a fantastic game. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the series overall, uh, mostly because I haven't played 1, 2, or 4. I've only played 3, and I love 3. Uh, so I'd be super excited if they made a new Onimusha. Uh, I would definitely start playing the other games and play 3 again. I love that series so much. No, well, you know what I mean. I love Onimusha 3 a lot. So getting a new one would be really awesome. Uh, the question is, would it be released on PS4, or would it be released on Xbox One? Would we be, uh, would we be getting, like, a new Onimusha for all consoles and PC, or would it be a PlayStation exclusive again? It's Capcom, so I have a feeling they would kind of go all out, PC, Xbox One, PS4, uh, but this also does not mean it could be a PC game. This could mean it's a pachinko machine, or a mobile game, or... There's plenty of other things that this uh, this trademark could be for. How the trademark could be for soda pop in Japan, but you know, yeah, it's. I'm not super excited for it, but I am. It's in the back of my brain, and I am thinking about it. So, next up on the list, um, sex sexism in uh, in North America, feminism, all that you know, all that fun stuff that's been going on that I stay far away from has killed the Dead or Alive series in North America. Um, Dead or Alive for, well, Dead or Alive Extreme, for those of you who don't know, is a video game series that is well known for its boob physics. It is a game that um, pits halfly naked girls against each other uh, and makes them beat the crap out of each other. Uh, there's also plenty of other variations of the series, Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball, and multiple other things like that. Uh, the series allows you to dress females up however you please, you know, put them in a nice dress, put them in no clothes, uh, well, they have to have some kind of clothes on, but you know what I mean. Uh, and then beat the crap out of each other with boob physics. It's cool. And it's funny because I'm pretty sure I remember reading somewhere, I could be wrong, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the first game was released just to text, test out new physics, uh, and it was the first game to give us physics on boobs, which leaded to the continuation of boob physics throughout all of gaming history. Tomb Raider, any game with a girl, it now has boob physics because of the Dead or Alive series, and we're not getting that anymore in North America. It's only going to be released in Japan and Asia, and they have no plans of releasing it outside of that due to fear of backlash of the feminism and sexism movement throughout Europe and North America. I get it. People don't like how women are sexualized in media, and it sucks. But it's done for guys, too. Half-naked guys, shirtless guys, all big and muscly. I can't fucking compete with that. You don't see me posting on Twitter 24-7 that the guys have too many muscles in these TV ads. Jeez. Be like if I got WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2018 pulled off the markets because I was afraid of how much muscles they show off and they, how much shirts they don't wear. Yeah. Moving on to our last piece of news is going to be... Um, it's about the Nintendo NX. So, there, again, there's still not much known about it. It's stated by a few people, um, I forget what it was, but like, very, very good sources that the console is a mobile slash console hybrid, uh, and it is Nintendo's, uh, next generation console. Uh, I don't know what would that, what that would put Nintendo's NX at. Would it put Nintendo's NX 
would it just pretend the Wii U wasn't Xbox One PS4 gen and just like a mid gen <laughs> between 360 and Xbox One and PS3 and PS4 and the NX would be Xbox One PS4 gen would would the Wii U be like gen 7.5 I I don't know it's <laughs> It's gonna make Nintendo's gen system weird, but you know, uh, it's stated that it's going to have next-gen competitive uh, specs on it. But you know, that, that that's said every time in news. They said it for the Wii Revolution. They said it, well, they said it for the Nintendo Revolution or the Wii. They said it for the Wii U. They said it for the Nintendo GameCube. Well, the GameCube did have the best specs, but they said it for the Wii. It was the horrible specs. They said it for the, the Wii U. Not that great specs, still. So, it's probably not going to have amazing specs. It's really not. It's Nintendo. They don't, I feel like they don't care that much. Um, on top of that, it has been stated that they've shot for 20,000, or I mean 20 million consoles to be um, made, uh, manufactured, that's the word I'm looking for, to be manufactured and uh, for 2016, sadly due to some com parts not coming in and stuff, uh, they've had to dial that back down to 16 million consoles to be released in 2016, which, if this is all correct, means we will probably be hearing and getting news about NX at this year's E3, which is exciting, I can't wait to hear what this console is finally about, and... Well, I'm pretty sure they stated in their last E3 that they'd be talking about the NX this year. Um, and it also means that we will be getting NXs sometime next year, whether it be during the uh, quarter four. Uh, I would highly assume that it's going to be quarter four 2016 or, t or 2017 quarter one. Okay. That's probably what we're going to end up seeing it as, um, which I'm okay with. I... I'm excited for the console. It's another Nintendo console. Uh, a console that I'm probably not going to get for a while. The Wii U is surprising the next-gen console I got first uh, before the Xbox One. And at, t at the time, I, I loved it, but I haven't really touched it. And I'm not going to be touching it until Xenoblade Chronicles X comes out. And then after that, I probably, again, won't be touching it until the new Zelda comes out. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the NX. Let me know what you guys think it's going to be and... Uh, like what it's gonna look like and how this mobile slash console hybrid is gonna work I'm interested what all you guys think on this and uh, don't forget Also, just comment in the comments and I'll make sure to be there and uh, replying to your comments whenever I can um, Till then I'll see you guys in the next video